بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله ومن دعائه صلوات ربي والسلام عليه يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك استغيث اصلح لي شاني كله ولا تكلني الى نفسي طرف العين and from the supplications of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam is a supplication in he in which he salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi said ya hayyul ya qayyum o the ever living because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't die and this differs with the belief of the Nasara of the Christians for those who believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam and that he died and that he died for our sins. So the believer believes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-hayyul al-qayyum that he is the ever living meaning he does not die and he did not have a beginning nor does he have an end subhanahu wa ta'ala and that he gives life he's the giver of life tabarak wa ta'ala al hayy al qayyum that <clears throat> he subsists his his self subhanahu wa ta'ala and not in need of anything and everything is dependent upon him tabarak wa ta'ala so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ya hayyu ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith by your mercy we seek assistance and this shows us ahabatu fillah that istighatha is a type of ibadah and istighatha as some of the ulama explain that it distinguishes it is a seeking of assistance during times of distress and need and when we seek assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those things in which only he subhanahu wa ta'ala can assist us with then that is considered an act of ibadah that is considered worship so when we seek assistance as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supplicated to him ya hayyul ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith by your mercy I seek your assistance or your aid or your support. <laughs> that this is a, an act of worship. And this belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. This is Tawheed al-Ibadah. This is what we mean when we refer to Tawheed al-Ibadah. Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah. That this is a reference to monotheism which only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is unique to Allah meaning that all worship only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as ibn al ibn al kathir he mentions when talking about the ayat wa min ayati layl wa nahar 
or perhaps it's another ayah in his tafsir when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya Yonas Ya 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 where Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala commands all of mankind to worship him and then he mentions some of his signs Ibn Kathir says regarding that ayah and I can't recall the exact ayah at the moment but he says Al-Khalik li hadhi al-ashya huwa mustahik lil ibadah he says the creator of all of those things, who He is the one deserving, truly deserving of worship. Al Khalik The creator of all of those things, all of these things, all of these ayat koniya that we're witnessing right now. Al Khalik Look at this. The creator of all of these things, these beautiful things. How much life exists right in front of me. This is moss. Look at this wet moss under the snow. The moss is living. It is nourished by this water. And it remains moist. And that's what keeps it as a fungi, I believe. I believe moss is a type of fungi. And all of the life that subsists under this fungi, if we were to dig in it, and especially when it becomes warmer, so much life exists right before us and around us. And surely, as Ibn Kathir said, Al-Khalik li hadhi al-ashya huwa mustahik lil ibadah, the creator of all of these things. He is true, he is the one who is worthy of worship. He, he has that right alone. So that's Tawheed. And that's affirming for us Tawheed al -ibada. And you would think that that would be from common sense for the Mu'min, for the Muslim. However, so many people declare the Shahadatain. And they actually share their worship with other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With their saints, with their awliya with their marid or that they are marid and all of these people who they give a share in divinity and who they do they have adoration to such an extent believing that they are inheritors of paradise and that they are the doors to paradise and that they have the keys to paradise and all of these false beliefs of kufr and shirk that the people attribute to the creation. But as Ibn Kathir said, Al Khalik, li hadahi lasha, who mustahik lili badan? Because we know that your awliya didn't create this. We know that Ali Khomeini, Ayatollah Khomeini, they didn't have any share in this. We know that all of those people, Al Bedawi, were him from the people who people exalt and all of those people who died who didn't have control over their own life and death didn't have control of their own sickness and disease and health that they're not the ones who are mustahik lilibada and they're not the ones who created anything they did not even have the control and the ability to truly create their bowel movement at Karamakamallah. And this is true. Think about when people get so ill that they, they, they need assistance to move their bowels. They're on dialysis, they need a machine to remove the waste from their kidneys and from their liver. Their livers don't function. All of their body is in need of external assistance to help them subsist, to help them remove waste from their body, to help replenish their bodies with nutrients. That's how weak we and frail we are as beings. But yet people 
will take those very same beings who were created from a nutfa like them and they will actually give them a share in divinity and they will adore them to the extent of worshipping them and thinking that they share in the creation and that they share in the qadr in the divine decree and destiny when all of it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al khaliq li hadhihi al ashya huwa mustahiq lil ibadah this is the one who has the right uh, to be worshipped alone. So, going back to the supplication, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Ya hayyul ya qayyum, bi rahmatika astaghayth, aslah li shani kulli, wa la takilni ila nafsi tarfat al ayn. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, after seeking istighatha, seeking the, the, the support and assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, Tawheed al-Ibadah, he said, Bi rahmatik astaghayt, aslah li, aslah li shani kulli. Which is very important. That's why I love this dua and I supplicate with it often. He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, aslah li, Shani Kulli Assist me with all of my affairs In all of my affairs Aslah li Shani Kulli Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Is the one who's the controller of all affairs Everything that you need Everything that you want Everything that you desire Is at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's at the will of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And it's Tahta Mashiatillah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a controller of the affairs. And if you want it and if you need, you turn to Him. He can make rectify all of your affairs. The wealth that you need, the provisions that you need, the children that you want, the spouse that you want or need, the will and want to do ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the assistance to help you make tawbah to him, all of this and all of those outcomes are from Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya hayyul ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghayth aslah li shani kulli wa la takilni li nafsi tarfat al In the last part of the dua, the dua, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, wa la takilni li nafsi tarfat al do not leave me dependent on myself even for the basically even for a second or even in the, the smallest of amount meaning I want you to control all my affairs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya Allah so this is imperative for us to learn the meaning of istighatha depending on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking his assistance, seeking his favor, seeking his blessings, worshiping him to wa ta'ala alone, and knowing and understanding that all the success is from Allah Azza wa Jal. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us and support us and rectify all of our affairs, make all of the good that we wish for easy. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.